All right, here's my uh, procedure on um, uh, flushing the uh, ABC fluid on a 2001 S600. I believe it applies to 2001 and 2002 on most of the W220 bodies. Also some of the, uh, um, was it 215, the uh, CL600, or uh, I guess in models between 2001 and 2000 and, um, Five, I believe, but I could be wrong on that. Just double check. Uh, this mostly applies to the W220 bodies. Uh, this is just my uh, the way I'm doing it. Um, uh, I haven't found video instructions on uh, how to do the initial procedures, so I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and uh, basically uh, maybe do a little video tutorial. I have a friend, a buddy of mine, coming through after I get the all the things settled. Uh, he's just going to sit in the car. But as of right now, what I did was. Um, so basically, uh, in my model, uh, I was able to, as you can see here, um, my model actually has um, this little metal tab. Usually in the cars, they're kind of uh, stuck together. You actually have to kind of unscrew one of the one or two bolts. Mine already had uh, the bolt unscrewed somewhere, so um, I didn't really have to um, unscrew anything I was just able to move this back and forth so you may want to double check to see if you can move this uh, back and forth uh, or actually move this out because you're gonna need to uh, unscrew the cap so um, so first thing I did was obviously as you can see um, get the uh, so I set up a towel all around just to make to, uh, to make sure to catch all the fluids um, actually prior to that what I did was I cleaned all around the um, the reservoir tank so remember there's the two reservoir tanks one at the bottom that's for the power steering and there's one on the top up here that's for the, um, the ABC fluid and the reservoir so you want to make sure you're doing the one on the top not the one at the bottom here so yeah you clean that area around because you don't want any debris any small little debris debris will um, obviously contaminate the uh, reservoir and um, this whole procedure is useless then so yeah you clean that area around first and um, the next what I did was um, unscrew the cap let me show you the cap um, so here's the cap uh, there's another piece on top uh, so basically what you have to do is um, unscrew the cap which this is attached to and then underneath it will be the um, the filter which is right here this is the filter right here basically attaches um, as you can see um, right inside there there's a little um, plastic uh, kind of latch over there so what you do is you basically got to squeeze this all the way up until you see it's like a little hook thing basically you gotta unhook it so you got to squeeze it really hard, somehow, um, probably with one hand if you can. Um, I basically, when I took it off, I basically used like the reservoir itself as a point to put pressure on it, and I squeezed it. So um, got to be careful with slips, but that's how I was able to kind of unhook it uh, on the top up there. Then next thing I did is obviously put that somewhere um, and then um, so you basically um, have uh, you're basically gonna have um, this part attached right here so, so it's gonna be all the way in attached on this clamp so you basically gotta undo that clamp um, I had to use a seven a seven millimeter clamp uh, basically um, the, the bit so to um, undo this and then I was able to get it loose and then basically I took two hands and grabbed that first part and then this part and slowly I was able to turn it and pull it apart and make sure as soon as you pull it apart you're gonna obviously you know you're gonna get a little a little fluid, fluid so make sure you got towels to cover it and then next thing I did um, uh, as many recommended is to before you start draining the fluid um, with starting the car you basically get a 
some sort of, some sort of turkey baster and um, basically take the fluid out of the reservoir first. Refill that reservoir with the clear fluid and then you start the, uh, the procedure. So this is where I am right now. Um, as you can see, I started uh, draining some of the fluid. God damn, look at how dark that is. Uh, I, when I checked earlier, I wasn't able to tell how dark it was because I never emptied it on a clear bucket, but damn, that thing's dark. So yeah, I mean, um, I definitely needed this. So this is where I am. I'll continue uh, with the next procedure in a little bit. All right, I just emptied out the, the reservoir. Um, I can't tell how much I was able to get out, but um, let's see. Okay, it says somewhere around, I guess, one and a, close to two, two liters, I guess. I was able to get out from the, uh, from the reservoir, but then again, um, just wanna make sure, uh, check on the uh, actual manual, but, um, to see how much the reservoir holds, so you'll know how much you get out. Um, but damn, look! Look how dark! Look how, look how dark this is. Um, I can't tell, but it's pretty damn dark. Alright, so I got done draining the reservoir. Next thing I'm gonna do is um, put some, um, obviously. Uh, some new clear or um, fresh uh, ABC fluid inside. So I got the uh, um, little spout. Make sure it's clean, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, fill that reservoir up with the clear fluid, and then start the car up with a buddy of mine, and um, you know let the car raise up and down. Hook up the holes up here, which I'll show in a little bit. But yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, so yeah, I got them from, uh, I believe, uh, Amazon. And actually, I got it from eBay. That's correct, yeah. Got it from eBay. Um, so yeah, if you want to take these um, whole five uh, gallon uh, containers, um, I guess a challenge will be just to um, hold them up, hold this big bottle up. Because um, obviously, if you've gotten those little one liter containers, you can pretty much uh, do them easily. But see how this goes. All right, so you have the car started, everybody mine. As you can see, the fluid just started flowing. And it's it's going slow, but it's going. So that's pretty much what it is. And he's gonna be pressing it up and down. The, uh, the ABC, raise and lower the car. And uh, I'll just be watching the, the, the thing to uh, fill it up. All right, just uh, finished with the, uh, the whole draining process. Um, so I got about, uh, let's see, uh, about close to nine liters out um, initially. So after that, like I said, I, um, I unhooked the cables. Um, uh, make sure, you know, you got the, uh, the outer, outer ring. Um, you know, the outer ring and this thing was all the way down. Make sure you had them in before you plug this in because otherwise you're gonna have to unplug them if you've ever if you've taken both of these out for me I had to I took this one out and I had the uh, the, uh, the 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 key clamp so I just used that it was much easier for me because I just had them 
but yeah make sure you have those um this part was getting a little um it's a little hard to get this in you know inside you basically gotta um if you're having a hard time putting it in straight just keep twisting it you know twisting it and put them in so um and then obviously just tighten this up and um yeah next thing would be to um just uh, make sure that the um you know measure the uh the fluid level in the reservoir and make sure uh, uh everything is good uh, you know level wise and um again i got a i bought two filters so i got another one um i guess what's suggested is you drive the car uh with the uh, the new filter that you put in for whatever for a week or depending on how heavily you drive it i i only drive it a few miles a few miles a day literally um yeah, I probably drive it like three miles a day, uh, besides groceries. But um, yeah, and then after a week or so, uh, you go ahead and uh, change that filter with another one. Um, as you can see, this is the old filter. Those black inside, the uh, the, the black things that you see, that's basically how dirty the old filter is. And uh, let me show you the new filter. new filter is supposed to be all um, you know uh, I mean clean or white so that's how dirty my filter was and how dirty my damn fluid was hopefully uh, this does it for me uh, I'll have to monitor if my car goes up and down I mean uh, you know drops a lot overnight when I leave it if it does obviously I gotta go and uh, clean the valve block um, and uh I'll try to see if I can do a whole video on uh, the whole valve block procedure. Um, that's much more complicated and you're definitely going to need, well at least I know I'm going to need another hand. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much how you would um, go about cleaning your ABC fluid. Hopefully this video helps people out. I mean, um, I'm just making this video because uh, I, I feel like I owe it to the, uh, the forum teams and everyone who's done this procedure a lot and wrote all these tutorials and you know some guys made some videos on YouTube but didn't I mean it's not like like there's uh, part of it is incomplete so you know so I just wanted to fill in the gaps where people weren't able to um, uh, video the procedure you know like uh, on, on video footage so hopefully uh, my contribution helps you guys out um, but yeah, um, I think other thing I should mention, and people always mention this. So on the W220, like obviously there people sell the uh, that little um, the flush tool kit. It's that little metal piece that goes inside. Well, it's not meant for this uh, this body style, the W220. It's, I believe it's meant meant for the W221. People get that confused. I was very close to actually buying that until I read the uh, fine print on their website saying it's not for the uh, W220. And they actually show you the picture. You know, if you have something, you know, we'll show you a picture. If you have, uh, uh, you know, these two on the top, that means you don't need the uh, the tool. You know, the tool's not gonna fit and stick in there. Uh, you're basically gonna have to, you know, obviously tap into here with the uh, the pipe. So, anyways, hope that helps. Oh yeah, lastly but not least, make sure you know you uh, clean up the uh, the mess around here. I think um, some of my fluid spilled here, so uh, you know make sure you. Just kidding. <laughs>